Hi there, Roger Connect, President of Universal Accounting Center, here today with Scott McKinley. Hello everybody. So Scott, you're one of our coaches. Uh, uh, you work phenomenally with our students, helping them out as they're dealing with life situations, marketing and building their practices. Thank so you. here you are, you've got a student, you were initially able to identify with them what their goals are, what they're trying to accomplish with their business, whether they're starting or building it. Okay. Uh, you're able to kind of keep them focused on that a little bit. So. What are some of the techniques or things, things that you encourage them to do to kind of stay focused and stay on task as they're building their practice? Are there any tips or tricks that you can actually share that would help them, obviously, as they're building their practices? Absolutely. I'm a visual person. I'm a visual person. So for me to be able to see things, that's a reminder. And so the best, the best way that I would recommend that you, you stay visually reminded is to create a vision board. You probably heard of a vision board. I know you've done vision boards oh, yourself yes. in the past. We're sharing this with you because it's that, that thing that you can do daily to, to, to see, okay, that's what I'm focusing on. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to attain. And we talked earlier in some of the videos that we've done, done about our thoughts and how thoughts become things and how like attracts like. And if what we focus on, it can manifest in, into our world. Yeah. Vision boards are one of the, the key ways to make that happen. Yes. Because you're you're constantly seeing it. Now, when I've created vision boards in the past, I put them in my office. Right now, I have a vision board and it's right on the wall that faces across from my bed. So the last thing that I see at night is my vision board. And the first thing I see in the morning, if my son hasn't climbed in the bed with me and punched me in the face with his foot, the first thing I see is my vision board. So what better way to wake up and go, yeah, that's what I'm working for. Those are the things that I'm trying to accomplish in my life. Now, look, this isn't just hocus pocus. If you cut out a picture of a Mustang, it's going to appear in your life. But what it does is it keeps you focused that this is what I'm trying to attain. Yeah. This is what I'm working for. Now, I've personally, as you just mentioned a moment ago, experienced this myself, and I've got a little bit to share with it because, uh, one, it's the process of how you go about doing it, and I'd like to get your input on the process, and then also on the back end, how it starts to manifest itself. Because you shared, you've got it in your bedroom. Proud of your wife, I mean, in the bedroom, there you go. I imagine it's, it's framed. Hers is go. on the other wall. There you go. And they are they are framed. There you go. So here's the thing. I went through the experience when I was first introduced to it years ago where it was this exercise in a group environment. And the group, all of us came with various magazines that we had at home. Some went out to the, the magazine store and bought a few magazines. And you just come, you throw them down in the middle of the floor and everybody for the next hour really just kind of picks up whatever magazine they want and they're able to take scissors, cut it out, shape however they want. But the point is that you've got on this board, a, a poster board, only so much space space in real estate and so how much or, or what you pick to put on that board takes priority mm -hmm. and you're picking things that aren't exactly what you're looking for but they represent what you're looking for now you're obviously going to propose that they do something a little bit more clear so share with that them, th that that approach be specific I mean be spe remove any ambiguity mm -hmm. back it, when Roger was doing this I would bet this was Really, before Google was as big as it is right now, I mean, this is probably oh yeah, no, this is pre-internet. It goes back way before the internet. When I first was exposed to this, this is this is back when you're taking other people's pictures and you're trying to do it. What you're going to share now is with the clarity that you can acquire based on online and printing off specifically what you want. You want a, a 13.3 inch MacBook Air? Go go to Google, put in MacBook Air Grab images, that image. print that off. That's specific. That's you, right. That's that's very specific. Now, in a previous video, we talked about clarity and clarity. Right. The more you can be clear on what it is you want, the more likely you're to achieve it. So that's where this comes into play because the greater greater the clarity. If you just want a house, you put up a new house. But if you've got the plans for the house, yeah. if you know where you're wanting to build the house, you've got to put that in. And the more specific you can be, the more likely it'll manifest itself. So, right. very much true. The other part of this is notice. When I first did mine, the way it ended up, my, my very first one, I did it. It was on poster board, and of all places, it wasn't in the it wasn't in the bedroom. It was in the garage, and I didn't see it all the time. And one of the things that's so true about this is, even though I saw it infrequently, it still manifested itself. I still was amazed at what I was able to accomplish on that vision board, even seeing it as infrequently infrequently as I was, because it also kind of just kind of meshed into the garage. And one day, 
I specifically remember looking at it and realizing I have accomplished nearly 90% of everything I thought a few years prior I wanted to achieve. And that's one of those things that's just man or amazing about this process. And then I've evolved since then and I've gotten a lot more clear like you're explaining. It's, it's that. But then you take pride in it. You, you're putting it in a frame. You're, you're putting it somewhere in your home where you're proud of it. That's something that I think is then a further illustration of how valuable this can be. Yeah, you know, let me make this point clear. By doing this, these things aren't going to magically grow out of the ground. No. There's no fairy or genie that's going to grant these things to you. But what it does is it keeps those things at the forefront of your mind. That's what we're focusing on. If I'm focusing on getting a Mustang, I'm going to be doing things that are going to help me to obtain that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be focusing on things. I'm going to be, you know, saving my money. I'm going to be doing the things. And before you know it, that option or that opportunity comes to your life. I created a vision board a couple of years ago. And like you, about 90% of the things manifested mm -hmm. in my life. And we're talking some pretty amazing things. And the, the, the really important thing to remember with this is that it's just, I'm focusing on these things, I'm staying true to what I want, I'm not mm -hmm. settling for other, other things. Exactly. We've talked about that in other videos, and it's, these are the things that I want, and so I am working to make these things happen. It's just that reminder to help you stay focused. The way I look at it is this, because of the real estate, I mean, I mean you're going to be working with some size here, you can only put so much, and what it does is it reminds you in your life that all these other things are less important, less significant, because this is what really matters to you. Yeah. And as those other things bring, come about, you're going to say, well, what's really important is this, and you're going to stay focused. That's where the clarity starts to set in, because you're able to now recognize these things aren't as important, this is more, more important to me. I could spend my money here, but I'm saving for this. I could spend my time here, but I'm going to spend it with this. That, that's because you're able to now clearly in your mind visually see what it is you're trying to accomplish. That's where the vision board, I think, really starts to pay off. So, very good. Anything else you want to add to this? No, just do yourself a favor. I mean, do your clarity through contrast. Find out what it is you really want. Make your vision board about all different aspects of your life. And give it a shot. And see what happens. Prove us wrong. And, if anything, I'd love to hear from you as to what it is you've accomplished. What it was, maybe even send a picture of your vision board. Share it with us. We'd love to see what it is you're looking to accomplish and do in the coming months and years. So remember this. If it's about accounting, however, it is universal. And universal success is accounting as well. So thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye.